part of the increasing resistance by true Frenchmen everywhere. We know well enough that Germany has enslaved pretty well all Europe. And we also know what appalling misery the invaders have caused in every land they've ravaged. But let no one in Europe abandon hope of release from German tyranny. Help is on the way. Defiance must take and is taking the place of misery and return to freedom is Europe's one thought. The British Empire, which has never admitted the possibility of defeat, was admittedly unprepared. But as in other wars, we are making up for lost time. The training of our parachute army in cooperation with the Royal Air Force is one very important example. British parachute troops are a volunteer force and I believe it's true that there are more volunteers for this highly skilled and dangerous work than are at present required for training. Anyway, the decadent British, as Goebbels used to call us, are now making up for lost time in the matter of paratroops. My task is to capture the line of the road which you see on the north edge of your map. It seems to me that there is a good line of approach along the line of these trees. A suitable dropping area would appear to be a Stratford clump. Well, gentlemen, your target for tomorrow's very important operation is this place that you see marked here in red. The actual dropping area is just near the Stratford clump. They come from every branch of the army, and before that from every branch of civil life, these British paratroops, Selected by the army from the continual flow of volunteers, they go through a most arduous and comprehensive training. Physically strong and fit, mentally alert and resolute, scientifically trained and ready for duty anywhere. The day is coming when they'll reap the reward of their hard work. They'll play a big part in the restoration of freedom for Europe and the world. The aircraft from which the parachutists drop would probably be flying at a height of only a few hundred feet, but at a speed of something like 170 feet a second. So unless they drop at extremely short intervals, they'll find themselves far apart on the ground. This is the crux of the whole operation. The parachutists, also their equipment, dropped separately, but at the same time, must land close together. Perfect organization to this end has been worked out. It's a drill. The men drop quickly, one after another, the chute's opening automatically. On the way down, they're thinking, first a good landing, then quickly off the mark, together. As they float down to earth, they know that on landing they'll have to fight rapidly, possibly at short range, like gangsters. But first, the landing. The effect is about equal to jumping off a ten-foot wall. Easy to see how thoroughly they've been trained as you watch this photographic analysis. Britain makes up for lost time. Britain's parachute army grows apace. Stand firm, Europe. The day of your release approaches.